Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Reactions and I just wanted to quickly go over basic typography and image slides in After Effects. Uh, so what you're going to want to do once you open up After Effects is go Composition, New Composition. Make sure the width is 1280 um, and height is 720. Hit OK, make a new composition. And we're going to want to make two new solid layer layers. Sorry, And uh, one I'm going to make just solid black. Uh, make a comp size and then stretch it out to about let's say here now I'll make it a bit smaller about there uh, remember when you hold shift when you're resizing it'll make it stay the proper dimensions and we're going to want to go layer new and make another solid layer this time we'll make it um uh blue sure why not and we're just going to want to stretch it out to about here and then we're just going to want to go over to our ellipse tool and make a little mask over that and just fiddle around with the settings until we get something that looks a little decent um, doesn't really matter what it looks like all that much as long as it looks relatively nice alright that's good enough for right now um, after you've made those two solid layer layers, you're going to want to go layer, or no, composition, new composition, make another composition, and let's rename this comp to line, and, uh, drag in, uh, make another, um, in this, uh, in this composition, you're going to want to make another solid layer, we'll make it white this time, and you'll see this. We're just going to resize this a bit. If I could uh, resize it, that'd be great. Resize it to, let's say, about here. And then just make it extremely long. So something like that. And just reposition it up near the top somewhere. And uh, we're going to just drag it off right now. And click on our uh, solid, our layer down here hit P to pop, bring up position uh, make a new keyframe go about I don't know let's say five six frames I don't know what whatever you feel is good and just slide that all the way over so it's positioned on the frame I'm just using my arrow keys so I know it's straight you don't have to do it this way I just find it the nicest way to do it personally and just make sure it's on there alright now we'll see that it brings up a line and we're also going to want to make sure motion blur is enabled uh, right now it won't really look blurred because it's in preview but that's alright and we're going to want to go back to our comp and drag in our um, drag in our line uh, composition and now you'll see we'll have a, just a little line sliding across I'm also going to check motion blur here just so we have it and uh, after that we're going to want to make some text layers for our text of course layer new text and I'm just going to no 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 and uh, just make text text make thank you I'll just put re reactions uh, you can use whatever text you want I'll just change this to uh, bank gothic light bulb uh, okay and uh, change the pixel size a bit reposition it to whatever you are comfortable with or however you like it I'm just going to position it about there make another text layer let's say uh, let's make this one presents we'll make it a bit s smaller no, oh, actually we gotta select the layer first then make it a bit smaller and we'll position this one to how we like it and we'll make one more text layer and we'll name or we'll write uh, let's just put tutorials and make this bigger after we select it that would be a smart idea and position this to fit alright that's fairly good right now and you'll see now we have our layers and this line going across so first we're just going to want to reposition all these text frames to where we want them so I'll put uh, tutorials over somewhere here 
presents I'll put over here and reactions I'll put down here and uh, what we're gonna want to do after that is move the go to the frame or the layer you want to move the text first so I'll move reactions first hit P for position and go to just after the line or just about when the line's going to hit uh, the end of the comp or just after it does uh, right now I'll just do it here I'll check that um, the stopwatch to make a new keyframe move ahead about let's say five six frames actually I'll go there and just drag it up to where we want it uh, it doesn't have to be perfect since we can reposition it after and you'll see we have this and after that we're going to want to go to our next text which is presents I'll hit P again to bring a position make a new keyframe go ahead about six or so again uh, drag that over to where we want it uh, right about there seems good uh, so uh, there that's good and we have something like that now and then we're going to want to do the same thing again with tutorials move ahead about six frames ish and drag it in there with the rest of the stuff and we should have something along the lines of this right now and it might not look perfect but it's good enough it's just demonstration of course you can change what you want and whatnot and you're going to want to en enable motion blur and all these you could always just with the easy way and check that but i'm going to do this to make it a bit more understandable and inevitable. i don't even know what that's not even a word but whatever and uh we're going to want to make a new camera layer so go layer new camera hit ok and we're also want, going to want to make a new null object and you'll see there's a little box on your screen after you make the null object you're going to want to see this swirly thing here click and drag that to the null object so the camera is uh, or the null object is a parent to the camera and go to the null object hit P go just to a little after here so we'll go to one second I suppose hit position and drag this off from here oh no not there not there not there no no bad 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 okay we're going to drag off the null object you'll see it'll move the whole screen alright okay and then we're gonna want to go back to the beginning of our first keyframe go into here go to transform I believe uh, oh first of all we're going to want to make the null a 3d layer that's better and then going to transform and uh, make keyframes for orientation X rotation and Z rotation and then just go to the end of our last keyframe there and rotate it to something or whatever you want whatever you feel looks good and you should have something that looks similar to this right now and that's pretty much what we want we want something that looks decent like that and uh, then after after this we're just gonna want to make a new composition let's name it uh, let's name it character and uh, drag in whatever image you have. I'll just use this for example. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what this is. Uh, I'm just going to use it as a joke, pretty much. And we'll have that there. Reposition it to fit. And go back to your composition. And drag on your character composition to the um, thing here. Bring it to the top. Move it to be there. Uh, right where uh, right after this is rotated actual actually yeah that's good and we're going to want to bring the character off the screen actually we'll start it from over here and we'll then go ahead about well, we'll go to position first that'll help us make a new keyframe bring it down about halfway let's say well maybe I don't know just a few frames 
bring it over and then we'll go ahead to like two seconds and slowly keep moving it and actually we'll go ahead a bit more and we should get something that looks like this and we're going to well before it pulls back where does it start pulling back all right we'll bring it to here oh, it's going to pull back either way let's just see where we can move it to good enough and uh, we'll enable motion blur on that and that'll make it uh, look a bit better and we'll also make a new text layer now layer new text drag that down to the same place your character starts and um, we'll write let's say um, uh, oh my god run and we'll resize the text to fit actually I'm gonna put oh my god run under the character and reposition it to be off the screen here and now we can go to oh my god run go to the beginning where it starts hit P hit the stopwatch go to I'm gonna just copy the about about the, the frames that uh, this uses also bring it over to about middle and then actually I'll drag it out a bit more since it's text and I'll go here drag this over a bit more and drag this over some more as well and then we'll just drag the text layer over some more and we should have something that looks like this once I position the text properly uh, that's good enough and we should have something that looks like this this is pretty much the uh, finished result here we'll just enable motion blur motion blur on everything and you pretty much have your uh, basic uh, typography and image slides here so if you guys uh, if this helped you guys out at all I'm sure a lot of you will find this useful. If you did, remember to hit like, subscribe for more tutorials. I'll be sure to make a lot more After Effects tutorials because that's what a lot of people want to see. So I'll be sure to make more of those and help you guys out as much as I can. So if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, remember to leave a comment, send me a PM, uh, whatever works for you. I'll get back to you. I'll make a tutorial for it, something like that. And yeah, see you guys later.